Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a happy soda. I think it turned out super adorable. Um, the top is clear just like the or a plastic lid and then the white cup underneath. Although of course you can use any color you like. Um, the straw, I did make it into a little bendy straw or you can just have it straight and then it is removable too. I'm not going to pull it out all the way. just want to stay in there because it's cute. So and I think that they turned out to all fit together very well with the other Happy Hamburger and the Happy Fries. So they work well together. I didn't want to make this the cup, the soda, ha super large, although realistically it would be bigger, I would think, but, um, but I kind of wanted them all fit together, and I think they do awesomely. So we'll get started. You may also notice that I changed the background again. That's because I do plan to use the clear bands for the tutorial. And I know that um, a white background would definitely not help with that. So hopefully everybody can see all right. But first we'll start with the eyes and the cheeks and putting those together. You can either do wrap bands or beads for the eyes. Um, I guess I should say real quick too. Band wise, um, it's 216 white, 99 clear for the top or for the lid and the straw. And then this row of red is 24, then one to three black bands for the eyes, and then two pink cheek bands, or whatever color you want the cheeks to be. So, and of course you don't have to use the same colors that I use, you can use whatever colors you like, but um, these are just the ones that I'm using. A white for the lid, or um, any color you really want, really. Orange and purple. So, back to the eyes. You can do a bead or a wrap band. If you want to do a wrap band, whatever color you want your eye, you're going to put it on your hook, wrap it around once, then grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then take whatever color that you are going to have the, um, the color of your cup, take two bands, and pull them through. Like that. So you have to make two of those, or if you're going to use an eye, I use 7mm pony beads, although I've seen other um, ones with the larger beads, the 9mm, or there's um, a lady on my Facebook who is posting ones with the, just the googly eyes, and I think those are super adorable too, so um, lots of different ways to do your eyes. But if you have one, you're going to want to find something to thread your bands through your bead. I'm using just a piece of craft wire, but you can use a bread tie, string, yarn, floss, flishing line, anything you can get into a V shape. And you'll take two bands, the color of your cup, put them in the middle, close it up, and then you're going to thread your bead through and slide it down over your bands, like so. So you need two of those if you're going to do beads for your eyes. And then the cheeks are made the same way, it's just whatever color you want your cheeks to be. One band on the hook, wrap it around once, grab both bands, wrap it around again, and take two bands, color of your cup, and pull them through. I don't think I finished that thought. The cheeks are made the same way as the eyes are if you do wrapped bands. But you have to make two of these. So, and of course it is all in one loom. I'll be working on the wrong end. And we're going to start first by dropping two bands the color of your cup along um, 12 pins. So first, two bands the color of your cup. We want to drop those so that they're on the bottom of our dropped bands. So I'm just going to start here kind of in the middle. Two bands right here. And then two bands up five pins and then two bands back into the center. Like that. So these are the color of your cup. So two bands all the way around. And then we want to go back to the top color of our cup, which I'm going to use clear. And this time it's going to be two bands on this middle pin down here. Then these two pins right here are going to have four clear on each one. 
so four. And four in the next one. The next pins up will get two. So two and two. Next one's up will get four. There's four. Next one's up are going to have two. And then four. And the last one, right here in the center, is going to have two. So like so. Now we want to put in a center. So from these two pins, we're going to go, first set is going to go off this way and make a little chicken foot, kind of. So two bands. So from this second pin right here, out to this pin, then out to this pin, and out to that one. Like that. And then from this pin right here, we're going to do the same thing. Two bands. The clear again. So we're working on the top of the cup still. Push those down. And then you're going to want to take two bands. Oops. Two bands and you're just going to wrap, I'm going to start up here on this end up here. And I'm just going to wrap it around one time. So put it on. Wrap it around once. So that's what we have now. We have the two legs, the two drop bands, the color of your cup all the way around, and then we have the two, four, two, four, two, four, two, and then we have our centers. So we're gonna start looming this out. So we're going through this cap band we put on. And grab the top two bands and pull them up through and back towards themselves. And we'll do that all the way around. Here's the next two, and the next two, like that. And then from this little spot right here that we kind of made a little, now we made another little cap band. We're going to go in through here. You're going to reach up and grab the two clear bands off of this pin and pull them up and over. And then from this pin over here, we're going to go, we're going to go back into our little fake center here, grab the top two clear bands pull them through and back onto the pin. Same thing for this pin over here. So in through here, top two clear bands, pull them back and over. Now I'm going to turn my loom because it's a little easier for me. Now we have this other little side over here. We're going to go in through here and we're going to grab the top two clear bands off this pin on the right. Pull them back over, and the same thing. We're gonna go back through here and pull the pin, pull the top two clear bands off this pin on the left. And then, lastly, we're gonna go back through here, but you're gonna grab the top two clear bands on this pin, kind of pull them to the side, go in through here, grab those bands, pull them up, put both ends on your hook. And then you're going to put what's on your hook onto the pin. So pull that off, put it on. And we do the same thing that we did right here on this side out of this cap band little spot. So we're going to go in through here. We're going to grab the top two clear bands, or the only clear bands left, and pull them through. Then we'll do the top two clear bands off this pin on the right. And then once again, you're going to grab the two clear bands on this pin that are dropped underneath, go in through the center here, grab them, pull them up, 
put both ends on your hook and then put them on the pin like that. So now we have this end done and all that should be under these five pins up here it's just going to be the two bands the color of your cup. This one will still have two clear along with two colors of your cup. So this half is done for now. So now we're going to work and do the same thing on this half down here. So we're going to take this cap band which this time is nice and stretchy which is nice and we're going to pull it down over the three little little chicken foot thing right here. So now we're going to go in through our bigger center here and we're going to loom out these three groups of bands. Let's go in and grab the top two bands and pull them back towards themselves all the way around like so. And now we're going to start in the center again here. So we're going to go in through here and we're going to come back and grab the top or the only clear bands on this pen. So the two bands that are clear, pull them up through and back. Like that. We're going to go back into here, grab the top two clear bands from the left pin. I'm going to go back in here and grab the top two clear bands from the right pin. Back and over. And we'll turn. So we're going to go in through this band right here, where the clear ones are. We're going to grab the only two clear bands left on this left pin. Go back into this spot, grab the last two clear bands on this right pin, and then we'll do the same thing we did before. Grab those last two bands that are on this pin, pull them out, go down and grab them, hook them, both ends on your hook, and then put what's on your hook onto the pin. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So this little spot right here, we're going to go through here, grab the top of the only clear bands left on this left pin, go through the same spot, grab the last two clear bands on the right pin, my white band has migrated. And then back through here again and grab those last two clear, clear bands on this pen. On the hook and then on the pen. So now we have the center done. It's hopefully you're able to see it and in editing it should be apparent whether it worked or not. So um, all you should have left underneath are just the two drop bands that are for the color of your cup but we've loomed out the entire top with the clear bands. So now what we're going to do is do a row around in clear bands so the color of your top, the what this turns into the edge of the cup, is what it amounts to. So two bands all the way around. You're going to have a lot of bands on some of these pins so I want to push them down so we can see when we flip them. Looking at my camera while I'm doing this, I, I know you can see the bands, but I think they just might just look white almost. Ah, so nervous. I think it'll be fine. So like that, two bands all the way around in the clear, or the color at the top of your lid.
at the top of the cup. So now we want to flip over all the bands that are underneath. So we'll start it kind of right here next to this little, little less congested. So we just put on that top row, so there's two bands from here and two bands from here. We want those to stay on the pins, but everything else underneath of them, whether this one has four bands, is going to go over, or this next pin right here, it actually has eight bands underneath. That's all going to go over. We just want to leave the top four bands. So of course be careful when you're flipping over so many so that the top ones don't fly off. But just flip them over. Then the corners here are going to have a lot. Um, you can try flipping a few at a time. Kind of helps at times. Just want to leave those top four bands on the pins all the way around. Some of them will have four, some will have eight. It just depends, but they all go over. And just the four left. All right. So the four bands for the top left all the way around, and then you have the two drop bands underneath that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to puff with our drop bands that we put down here. So what I mean by that is I'm going to grab these bands underneath, kind of pull them off to the side. I'm going to go in through my clear bands, hook those bands I dropped, pull them up, Put both ends on my hook, and then the clear bands are going to come off the pin, and the, in my case, white bands are going to go back on. And we're going to do that all the way around the loom. So I'm going to hold on to these, going through my clear bands, hook those bands underneath, pull them up, both ends on the hook, pull off the clear bands, and put the white bands back on. And just keep doing that all the way around. This gives our soda a nice little edge. I'm still debating whether I'm going to call it a happy soda or a happy, happy soft drink because I know that people still would like me to make a can of soda. But we will see how that goes. I kind of like the soda, how it turned out. I just say soda too, where I live, or maybe it's just me. We actually call soda pop, so we just cut off the the soda in the front. So sometimes I've traveled places and I'm like, can I get a pop? And they're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, do you want me to punch you in the face or what? And so it just kind of definitely the differences in areas call them different things. It's kind of interesting, I think. Kind of like my onion that I made, my green onion. I call it a green onion. People in other countries call it spring onions, which I think is makes sense because they're kind of smaller onions before they've had a chance to for the bulbs to grow. But then other places just call them onions. And though I still got quite a few people who've told me the leek, leeks are, I guess, leeks are different. They are, they have flat um, leaves at the top, not round. But can't make everybody happy. So, hope you enjoyed my story while we puffed out all those. So there's the four puffing bands all the way around. I'm going to push those down. 
And now what we're going to do is an alternating doubled band, double bands all the way around. So I'm going to start with two bands first, right here. And then it'll be one band doubled right here. And then two bands. Then one band doubled. And we just keep doing that all the way around the loom. I'm thinking on the way people say or call things differently too. I know where I grew up it was you would say that you were going to wash your hands instead of you're going to wash your hands. So I definitely changed how I said that, but it's still whenever somebody says my washer and dryer or instead of my washer and dryer. It's kind of interesting how dialects and words changed. So all the way around we had double double the band, two bands, double the band, two bands. So now what you're going to do is you're going to flip over the bottom four bands all the way around. We are on the cup color now. I hope that by leaving this little guy here you can kind of tell where we're at. But now we are going to change colors and go to, um, if you want the stripe here, whatever color you want that to be, um, I'm going to make my blue this time. It's just going to be two bands all the way around. that. So now you're going to flip over the bottom four white ones or whatever color your cup ones are over the top and you have a doubled band and then two bands that go over so it's a little bit tighter. those down and at any time that you are getting congested go ahead and pull up your center here like so and I see I have a broken band so I'm going to fix that before I go on Gotta locate where it's at, undo. Replace. flip the bands back over. Like 
think so. Yes, broken bands are no fun in the growing up designs, but if you see them right away, definitely fix them. Um, definitely gets more difficult if you've gone a couple rows and then notice the break, so if you're not sure about a band, um, make sure that you just don't use it or, um, I guess, don't use it. There's no or. So now, all the way around, two bands, the color of your cup. Like that. Then flip over the blue bands or whatever color bands you used if you use them. Like so. Push those down. And we're going to do another row around, two bands all the way. So, all the way around, and we'll flip over the bottom four bands again, over the top. Like so. Next is going to be our eye row. So I'll push these bands down again. And so you want your eyes and your cheeks ready too, since we're going to be there in a minute. So we'll start with two bands right here and right here. And the next two spots right here are going to be your eye bands. And then two bands all the way around the rest. like that. I'm going to flip over the bottom four. So I think I've said before that I only use um, glow-in-the-dark white usually because I figure if I'm going to have buy white I'll have the added bonus of them glowing in the dark. But the other night I've been working a lot with the white bands, glow-in-the-dark white bands, and I was coming up to go to bed and the husband was up getting a drink and as I came up the stairs he was shutting the refrigerator door and he kind of uh, got a little scared I guess because he said or my face was my face and like my shoulders and stuff they were apparently covered with little speckles of glow-in-the-dark whatever from the bands 
which I still can't figure it out because I checked out my hands and they didn't have anything on them, so I don't know if it's just from snapping the bands that the something flies off of them and leaves me covered in little glow-in-the-dark speckles, but he kind of got a little scared. I thought it was kind of funny. but So we got the eye row. Now we're going to do the cheek row. Same thing. Just that we're going to put cheeks where the eyes, where we put the eyes. So two bands all the way around. Well, not all, two, not all the way around. Two bands right here. These are cheeks. And then two bands around the rest of it. So I thought it was funny anyways. So I have to check it out before I go to bed tonight. See if I'm glowing in the dark again. Like so. Flip over the bottom four. I'm very chatty tonight. Hopefully my stories are funny. Or interesting. It's probably because I took a nice nap earlier, actually. It was nice. I don't get them very often. Like so. Push your bands down. Now you're going to want your mouth band, whatever color you want that to be. One band on your hook and wrap it around once into a figure eight. Then, in the front here, where we have the eyes and the cheeks, this pin right here, you're going to go in and grab these bands on the pin, pull them off, and slide down your mouth band onto those bands and then replace them back onto the pin. The mouth band has a mind of its own. Like so. So now we're going to do another row around. Two bands all the way around. like so. Then again, flip over the bottom four. Like so. Push your bands down. Then we're going to do another row around. Two bands all the way around. Like so. Flip over the bottom four.
And now we are going to reduce, and we're going to reduce top pin, top pin, bottom pin, and middle pins. So we'll start at the top. And you're going to go in and find the top two bands, hook them. Mine are coming from the left pin, so they're going to come over to the right pin. And then the other ones will go over to the left pin. And then on the side, find the top two bands, pull them up. These are coming from the bottom, so they're going to go up to the top. And these ones will come down to the bottom. Bottom one, top two bands. Mine are coming from the left, so they're going to go over to the right. And the other ones will come over to the left. And then in the front, top two bands. Mine are coming from the top, so they're going to go to the bottom. And these will go to the top. So then push those down. We're going to do a row around with two bands. So I'm going to start over here, be two bands here, and there's a long stretch between these two pins, and then two bands, and then a long stretch back here. And then two bands, then a long stretch. And two bands, and a stretch right here in the front. All right, so we just want to have the have the top four bands left on. So you're going to have a reducing band up here, and then four bands underneath from the last row. So those will go over. This one will also have a reducing band to go over, and then the bottom four. Same on this pen. Reducing bands on the bottom four. In this little spot, you can just flip over the pen. And then on here, reducing band. Bottom four. I guess it's going to be all the way around like that, so I'll have to tell you in every pin, I suppose. But there's a reducing band and the four. I want to flip this over until you get this one done. And last one. Like so. And push everything down. So now this row is going to be the alternating double doubled row. So it doesn't really matter where you start with the um, two bands versus the double band, you're still going to end up having um, some stretch long, but we'll try and avoid it a little bit on the long parts here. So I'm going to start with a doubled band, so one band doubled right here, and then two bands on the long stretch one band doubled, then two bands, one band doubled, I guess I did get it right this time, I guess every other time I just did it wrong, two bands on the long stretch, and then two bands here. So now we're going to flip over the bottom four. Uh oh, I hope I'm not getting goofy because I actually got sleep. I 
like so. So now we're going to close this. And you can do it on your rainbow loom hook or your latch hook or you can make a threading band and thread it through the pieces out here. It's up to you. I'm going to use my rainbow loom hook. If you do that, make sure that your bands are pushed down so that you don't have anything pop up on you. I'm going to start in the back area here. I'm just going to stick my hook through and go all the way around. Oops. Got a little bit. Forgot to flip off that side band. I got them all on my hook, two bands. I'll just start. When I close these, um, a lot of people ask how I did them. I can do them seemingly so quickly, but you'll notice that I'm my project is down below, and you notice how my hook is pointed down as well, so it should slide in the groove that's created, but in the bands. And I'm pulling up with this band so there's tension. So this is pulled up, hooks pointed down, and then I can just start pulling it through. And just keep that tension up above. I mean obviously you're still gonna I snag bands every once in a while as well, so just gotta be careful as you go around. And then once you get there, just a little bit through, put both ends on the hook and pull it through. and pull it tight. Alright, so we want to hide this. I'm just going to go in through the top. Grab it through the bottom here. And pull it up inside. And it won't hurt to do a little stretch. You make it the long way on the loom, so it kind of wants to stay long ways, or kind of this way, I guess. So give it a stretch. Awesome. So now, um, the straw is... I made mine 25 clear bands long. You, of course, can make it's shorter than that, like if you only want to have, um, mine is quite long, it's probably too long actually for the cup, but, so this is 25 bands, so I mean you could probably get away with, if you still wanted the kind of bend in the straw, you could probably get away with 15 bands or so to be able to get it through and to be able to stay up, um, and then of course if you don't have the bend in it, it would be even less, so. But I'll make a chain a few of them so you can see how to make it and then I'll show you um, with the bend how that works, I guess. So so rainbow loom hook or latch hook, put a band on your hook, wrap it around once into that figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again. Then take another band, double it on your hook. So we made that made a figure eight basically. Then you're gonna take that and pull it through this other band on your hook. And you just keep repeating that. Double a band on the end and pull it through what's on your hook. Keep repeating that until you get it as long as you want. Like I said, I did 25 in mine. My straw is definitely on the long side, so it must even have a little bend in it. But let's just kind of test it and see if it works for you if it's long enough. But 
if you want to save on bands, just make it long enough to kind of fit fit into the top of the cup and to stay right there. Just make a few more here. And of course using the clear bands they are kind of um, they don't knot off as well as the opaque bands, so um, you'll have to be careful when you close it so you don't get it coming apart later on down the road. So that will work for now. So now all I'm going to do is actually just on my hook, I'm going to take the first two bands and pull them through the last two bands and pull tight. Which is kind of nice because then it leaves this little loop here that I can stick my hook up through the bottom of the cup somewhere and grab onto them and pull down. Like so. So there's a cup with just the straight straw. If you want it to be a bendy straw what you'll do is you have the little chains here. Stick your hook through there and if you kind of put your thumb over the top of where your hook is and then pull the bands that you want to be bending away you get a bendy straw. So you're just holding it, you're basically just turning where the bands are put through the loop. So again, right through that chain, hold your finger on top of it, and then just pull it away. And then you can put it back in. So you can definitely see you don't need to make it quite as long as I showed originally. So, Also if you still have distortion up here in the lid, going in and grabbing these bands that we flipped over from the lid clear part and pulling them out will solve that. It's just the tension. So that should make it a little rounder all the way around, so. Like so. So, super cute. I like them. Hopefully you like it as well. Um, I am still working on all of the suggestions that people are giving me, of course. And i am got a few of my own that I'm pretty excited about sharing here in the near future. Um, nobody's really requested them that I'm aware of, so I hope you enjoyed making the Happy Soda Soft Drink. We'll see what I put on the label when I'm done, or on the title. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Um, if you want to share these cuties all together with me on my Facebook or my Instagram, my Facebook link is underneath the video, but it's feeling spiffy or at cra or crafting fantastic should find me there. Otherwise, my Instagram is at crafting fantastic. And then, of course, if you'd like to know when I'm coming out with more of these little adorable things, you can subscribe to my channel, which would be awesome. So again, thank you very much for watching. I definitely have more things coming for you soon. I'm keeping up pretty well, I think, even with school starting. So um, thanks for watching, and I will have more tutorials for you soon.